Hey everybody, this is Nick with Akai Professional. Today I'm going to show you how you can download and install the Pro Tools First software after registering a product in your Akai Pro account. I'm going to use the MPK Mini Play in this example, but this process applies to the MPK Mini Mark II and all Akai Pro products that include Pro Tools First. Let's get started. In the Registered Products section of your Akai Pro account, find the product that you've registered that includes Pro Tools First and expand the included software menu. Scroll down in the list of included software until you see the entry for Pro Tools First and click the Pro Tools First link to begin. You will now be taken to Avid's website to create your Avid Master account. There are five steps we will complete to access the Pro Tools First software and the included content. Click Get Started Now to begin. In step one, you will enter your credentials to create your Avid Master account. Fill out the required fields and click Create an Account. Step two will verify your email address. Click yes in this dialog and a verification email will be sent to the email address you entered in the previous step. Open a new tab in your web browser and log into your email. You will have a message from Avid waiting for you with a link to verify your account. Click the link to verify the account and you'll be taken back to Avid's website. In step three, you will enter a few details about your musical background that'll help personalize your Avid account. Take a minute to fill out this questionnaire and click Next to proceed to Step 4, which will link your Avid Master account with your iLock account. If you do not already have an iLock account, you can create one on this page by entering a password at the left. If you create an iLock account on this page, the email address you entered for your Avid Master account will be used as your iLock handle. If you already have an iLock account, enter your iLock ID in the field at the right and click Next. You will now be prompted for your iLock account's password. Enter the password in the field and click Authorize. The final step will take you to a web page where you can download Pro Tools First and the included content. It is not necessary to download everything you see in your account right now. You can return to your Avid account to download the rest of the included instruments and effects anytime. For now, I'll download the Pro Tools software and a reverb effect plugin that we can put on a track that we've created once we have the software open. If you do not already have the iLock License Manager software on your computer, go to www.ilock.com to download and install it. Launch the iLock License Manager software, click Sign In at the upper left corner, and you'll be prompted to enter your login credentials. Enter your user ID and password and select Sign In. Notice that a license for Pro Tools First has been deposited into your iLock account from when we were at the Avid website. Let's activate Pro Tools First on your computer. Do that by clicking the line for Pro Tools First in your iLock account, dragging the license over to your computer in the Devices menu at the left, and dropping it on the computer. iLock will indicate that the computer received the authorization, and you can now close iLock. Next, let's install the reverb that we downloaded from the Avid website. I'm using a Mac operating system in this example, so I will use a .dmg file to mount and run the installer. If you are using a Windows operating system, the process will be similar. Run the .exe file to begin installation. Whatever your operating system is, click through the installer and enter your computer's password if prompted. And note, you will not need to authorize any of those plugins you downloaded from your Avid account. The installer will indicate when the process has completed. Now let's run the Pro Tools first installer. Click through the installer and enter your computer's password if you're prompted. The installer will indicate when the process has completed. Once you have the software installed, you'll be able to open it and start making some music. Be sure to check the video description for more popular guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.